Hey guys, what's up? It's Hero Dynamic. I'm actually gonna change the name of this channel pretty soon to Monica Church, just because hair, I, I made that when I was 13. Like, what the heck? I've taken a break from this channel because I've been thinking about the kind of stuff that I want to make. I would love for you guys to comment what you want to see. I have a few different projects I'm kind of working on. Nothing like super secret or anything, but just I'll kind of show you right now so a, little, a little bit of snippets. I've been sitting on these clips for a little bit and I just, I'm very intimidated with how to make it a thing. Um, but I thought today I would just hit you guys with a classic video, just a haul video, because I went to Coachella this last weekend. I did. And I was general admission. YouTubers, they're just like us. I bought a bunch of kind of festival-like clothing. So anything that I'm showing you, I'll have linked below. And I just wanted to share it with you guys today. So on the first day of Coachella, me and Shelby and Janine woke up at 6 a.m. and drove from LA. And we are headed to Palm Springs for Coachella. To Palm Springs, hoping we wouldn't get in any traffic. And we just got to Palm Springs. It's 8.53, literally before 9 a.m. We didn't, which means we got there before 9 a.m. Which means, what do we even do? I got this swimsuit not too long ago. It's from L Space by Monica Wise, which is my favorite swimsuit brand. It's in this kind of like burnt, rusty orange color. These are the top, or these are not the top. They're kind of like a high waist. You like raise the hip a little, which is pretty flattering and like makes you look a little more curvy. And I'm literally a rectangle. Like I have zero curves to me at all. And then this is the top and Okay, you just tie it in a little bow and hope that no one ends up going like that to you. Literally before I found L Space bikinis, I was never 100% fully confident and comfortable with my body in a swimsuit. But once I got these, like they're just so flattering that I feel 100% confident, comfortable, and happy. So then for my first outfit of Coachella. I wore this top that's just from Brandy Melville. It's just a long sleeve white top that ties in the front. It's literally, it's actually, this is the exact same top. This is from Brandy Melville too. This one was only $20. Then underneath, like as a bralette, I wore this and it's actually a swimsuit that's also from L Space, but I just wore it like a bralette. It's got like this gold ring that you could just kind of barely see underneath the knot. Here's a photo. I wore this skirt with it and this skirt's from Aritzia. It's got a little bit of distressing and these two roses on the side. Kind of add a pop of color. So for my hair, I like asked for just kind of two braids into little space buns and then just kind of wavy hair. And I love how it turned out. And then they added some glitter too. And that was my look. And I wore Vans because my feet hurt really easily. So it's my, it just, you walk so much, like you can't wear heels or anything like that. So no way. For day two, I wore this as a bralette again. I posted an Instagram photo here and I got a lot of comments that were like, where's that shirt from? So I wore this shirt that it just ties in the front and I kind of tied it lower so that you could see the swimsuit a little bit more. I got this at a little boutique in California called Malore, but the tag says grade and gather. I'm just gonna look it up and have it linked below if you're interested. It was only like $28 and it's so cute. It's one of my favorite things that I got. I wore it with these shorts that are just some distress dressed denim that I also got at Malore and these are by Vervet and these were only like $28 too. You don't have to spend a lot of money to look good at Coachella. On the last day, I wore this jumpsuit that I got from Urban Outfitters. I've worn this a lot. I actually got this back in December. I posted this photo. I had purple hair back then. RIP to the purple hair. So I don't think they have this anymore, but I know Urban Outfitters has some very, very similar rompers, so I'll have those linked below. So that's what I wore to Coachella, but I bought other stuff that I thought I was maybe gonna wear, but didn't wear, but I'm still gonna wear like this spring and summer, so it's fine. So first is this top. Holding it doesn't really do it justice. <laughs> but um, it's from Aritzia and it's this kind of knitted fabric. And this is what it looks like on. This top looks really good with these pants that I got from Urban Outfitters that are just in this kind of linen cloth fabric that's kind of like a light pink, light tan color. They have a pleat in the middle. Would you call that, is that called a pleat? I don't even know. 
So the bottom of these pants are a flared leg and they have five little buttons leading down. And I think they're so cute. These pants also look good with this top that I got from Urban Outfitters. This is just a white cropped frilly little shirt is what I would call it. Like if this shirt were a dog, it'd be like a frilly little frou-frou dog. It's just like a frilly little frou-frou shirt. I like how the straps are this kind of holy fabric. And I also like this top with these pants that I got. And these pants are from Aritzia. I like these because they have pockets and I like anything with pockets because my hands always get cold. And in the back, they actually, they tie in the back. So I like wearing these pants with this shirt. Okay, so for the last outfit that I have to show you guys, I actually totally would have worn this to Coachella, but I only just bought it today. I got this shirt from Aritzia. So the front, it's like two bow tie things in the front. And then the back is, it just kind of looks like a tube top with ruched, ruched. I hate the word ruched. I just feel stupid every time I say it. Ruched. So like for a music festival, I would totally, I would wear it like this, look super cute, but it's kind of a lot going on pretty much any other time in life. So actually, I'm just gonna wear this as the front and this as the back and that looks super cute too. And then it's just a ruched tube top with a really cute back. And then with that, I got these black denim shorts and these are also from Maritzia. These are just kind of old Levi shorts. It says Levi, but it's really, really distressed. And then <laughs> to go with it, I got a fanny pack. I actually got this at Urban Outfitters. I wish I would have saw this before Coachella because then maybe I wouldn't have lost my passport, but whatever, it's fine. It's like this black velvety sort of fabric with just little like nail buttons that are like circles. It's called nail buttons, I don't really know. Silver hardware, just a silver hardware design right there. I never thought I'd buy a fanny pack, but honestly, they're the move. So much better for your back. So that's everything that I got for my spring, summer, Coachella festival sort of haul. If you guys like any of that stuff, I'll have it linked below. Good to see your face again. Not that I can see it. I hope you feel like it's good to see my face again. Don't forget to subscribe. And now you can go to my vlogs and watch my Coachella vlog and watch just other vlogs about my life. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.